quiet visit to scatter grandpa's ashes. The team was down in Arizona, losing a six-game road trip with another loss to the Diamondbacks. It was one of those days with the lake breeze rattling the ivy on the Wrigley Field walls and summer slipping away. We came up out of the dark of the concessions area, and there it was, blue sky, green infield, diamond opening like a fan, one of the perfect places on this earth. Nobody was around. I leaned out of the stands and poured an envelope of something out onto the field. Play ball, Grandpa, I said, and we strolled off. Now we were up in the center field bleachers under the scoreboard. We were waiting for it to be noon enough to have a burger down on Sheffield. How cool was this? It was as cool as it gets. <laughs> it's better without a game, Uncle Paul said, half asleep with his cap pulled down. He was wearing deck shoes, a faded golf shirt, white jeans. I said to him, you don't wear shorts even on a day like today? He said, I'm 34. I'm too old to wear shorts in public. <laughs> tell Dad, I said. <laughs> you tell him, he said. I was groggy with the sun, but I said, shouldn't we be sad about Grandpa? No. Who wouldn't want the life he led? Uncle Paul said. It fit him like a glove. That was a good thought. I think Dad wanted to give us a little time to talk, I said. What about, do you suppose? Uncle Paul said. Search me, I said. Maybe he wanted us to talk about how my teacher, Mr. McLeod, is gay. Maybe he wanted us to talk about me being gay, Uncle Paul said. Whoa, the sun stopped at the top of the sky. You knew I was gay, right? Uncle Paul said, and pushed his ball cap back. Sure, I said, I guess. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shouldn't we have talked about this before? But your mom and dad are so not into pigeonholing people. Were we all being so liberal, we left you out? I shrugged. Lynette Stanley says, you really have to spell things out for me. I don't mean talking down to you, Uncle Paul said. I mean not talking over your head. Not, uh, not everybody in this world is as open-minded. Mr. McCloy told us the sixth graders about people who will write their fears on your face. That's good, Uncle Paul said. You have to be ready for people like that. My head was still kind of whirling. Grandpa, Dad, Uncle Paul, Mr. McCloy, those were the four I wanted to be. Uncle Paul, do you think I might be gay? I don't know, he said. Do you moisturize? <laughs> what? Where do you stand on exfoliation? Heck, what's it? And you didn't pick that shirt, did you? Tell me you didn't. You're kidding me, right, Uncle Paul? I'm half kidding, he said. <laughs> One more thing then, I said. You love men, right? I love one man, he said. We owe our young the story of who we are as families and American people. And those who would question the right to discuss same-sex marriage in and out of the classroom are look overlooking members of their own family.